okay y'all well it is currently right now about 60 degrees outside the humidity i think it showed was like 61 percent 65 percent humidity it's been raining pretty much all night long so if you can't hear me because of the wind blowing i'm sorry and i apologize for that but we left uh, newberry south carolina yesterday and we started making our trip on back down still running on that split that i did last time so i ran my six and a half hours here to this little rest area right here in greenville alabama uh, we come on across we went, we actually went down to augusta georgia come up to atlanta come on around that away and uh made it here to greenville alabama to this little rest area right here when we got here last night the parking lot was slept full so i had to stop on the side of the road on the exit ramp right here uh, on the entrance ramp and that's where we ended up taking our 10 hour break we didn't uh we didn't fully take us another split because it wouldn't uh it wouldn't have made no sense to do it and uh, so we decided to go ahead and take a full 10 hour break go ahead and get off that split and we're going to start making our way back down to uh port island louisiana we got us an oil load to pick up of uh, hydraulic fluid that we're going to load right on top of what we had last and we're going to go bring it up to aberdeen mississippi so from where i'm at now we still got about four and a half hours down to uh port island and hopefully they'll get us loaded and it, uh, you know in and out of there pretty quick today and then we're going to leave there and then we got a five hour five hour and 15 minute ride up to aberdeen mississippi that bella out here she's acting all goofy this morning she's enjoying uh she's enjoying the cool weather she's enjoying the being able to run around she got some boogers in her eye need to get out but she's enjoying the the cool winter the cool weather it's absolutely pretty right here where i'm at if uh if you're new to the channel I'm, i grew up in the woods uh, and this is just what i like i like to be out here in the woods and it's just it's really pretty right here in this bottom big old big old magnolia tree right here we need to uh get bella put back up we can get back on the road in about 10 minutes i got my coffee already brewing in the truck we need to go pour it and uh get back on the road knock this four hours four and a half hours out and then uh hopefully get over there and not have to sit there all day long waiting my appointment ain't till two so i'm not gonna be back until about one so hopefully hopefully we ain't gotta wait that long all righty correction on all that time and i think i said i have four and a half hours it showed me four hours and 45 minutes so we're gonna get there uh i'm gonna say one o'clock it showed me 12 45 right now but i am gonna need to stop and get me uh some fuel and stuff uh, i didn't fuel up none yesterday so i do need to stop and do that probably do that around gulfport mississippi or something like that
All right, good evening. You got Mike with Giller Petroleum. I'm here to pick up a load of oil. 260-625-5872. All right, what's the trailer number? Trailer number 4349. They had told you to come in early? Yes. Right, right, 703. 703, thank you. Well, not technically. I didn't call him and ask if I'd come in early. I mean, come on now, it's, it's one o'clock. It's 101. I can understand if I was three hours, four hours, five hours early, that'd be a different story, but it's one o'clock. My appointment's at two o'clock. So, 703 is what she said, right? We got on the scale, or we got on the lane. We got this thing loaded. They are already calling us to get off the lane. Uh, what time is it? It's about 3.40 right now, so. We've been here since one, so four o'clock would be three hours. Ain't too terribly bad. But uh, yeah, we'll see how long it takes to get paperwork now. Hopefully it don't take no four hours, that's for sure. I would like to be out of here by five o'clock, which it really don't matter at all with the traffic through Baton Rouge and stuff like that because I'm gonna hit the woods. We're gonna, we're gonna go out through the woods. We ain't, we ain't gonna fight traffic. The main thing right now that we're waiting on is paperwork. Once we get paperwork and the samples and all that stuff comes back, we're gonna be able to get out of here. But until then, we just gotta sit here and wait. That could be an hour, that could be two hours, that could be 30 minutes. Just depends on how fast they get samples and all that stuff done in the labs. We got my old blue truck sitting right over there. Uh, that's Brent that drives it now. He's been here, oh, since about 11 o'clock today, getting loaded and all that stuff. I've been off the lane now for about 30 minutes. He's been off the lane for about an hour now. He got off the lane about 30 minutes before I did. But we're still sitting here. They just called this man right here for his paperwork. So he's about to leave. There's a guy sitting over there that uh, still, he's sitting in the break room. You got a drop trailer that's in between me and Brent right there. This man right here just got back from uh, getting another empty trailer. He's coming to load another one. So it just depends on how long it takes labs and everything to get done doing what they're doing and stuff like that before we can get up out of here. Let me just put it this way. It can get pretty busy around these oil racks.
Well, we made it here to Aberdeen, Mississippi. We had to come in the driveway back over here and uh, come pull up like this. And I backed in beside their big transport over there. The truck's kind of sitting on a lean, so should be all right. I don't know if that's where they uh, park at when they come. My brother told me how to get up in here, and I can't remember if he told me to stay out here by the pole or back in right there. I don't know, but this is our little place here in Aberdeen, Mississippi for Best Way Petroleum. It used to be some other company, and Best Way Petroleum bought them out. And uh, if I ain't mistaken, my brother said I'm going to pull up under that shed right there and uh, unload under there. I don't know, I've never been here, so we're just gonna have to figure all that stuff out in the morning. Y'all wanna know something crazy? I come into Mississippi down there on 55, coming out of Louisiana, scale house was open. And so I pulled off in that scale house. I don't typically do, but for some reason today I just did and uh, pulled up on the scale and then it started flashing sign to park. So I got out of the truck and I walked in there. I said, man, what's going on? What, what, what you don't, you know, what, what you need, you know? Cause uh, I know I ain't overweight. So what you need? This man just tell, started telling me, you know how you got them red lights and them breathers right there? I was like, yeah. He's like, that's illegal, don't you know that? I said, come on, man, you really stopped me in here for that? He's like, yeah, that's illegal right there. You can't have no red lights that you can see from the front of the truck like this. So being that you can see that light right there, he's telling me that's illegal. But in my eyes, if I can recall, it's a red light shining forward. That's what's illegal. This light is shining down. So he told me, he said, well, can you unplug them things or or turn them off? I was like, no, it's all, it's all wired in, you know? He's like, well, then you better go out there and cut the wires to it or uh, I'm going to give you a ticket. I looked at him dead in the face. I said, man, are you kidding me? Like, really, you stopped me in here for that? Yep, I'll give you a ticket if you can't turn the lights off. I was like, man, you're, you're kidding me, right? So I walked back out there to the truck, I unplugged them. It's really easy, just, just push down on the top of the breather, spin it up and open it up, and the wires are right there, just unplug it. I unplugged it, he went into the building, I left out of the scale house, went a mile down the road to the rest area to let Bella out. Plugged them back in and ain't had no problem since. I can understand that them lights was blue or green or purple or something like that, white or something. I can completely understand that. But red? Come on, man. Come on, man. Some people, man, they just want to give you a hard time. As many scale houses I've done been through with all these lights on, that was the first one. That'd be the last time I ever go through that sucker, too. Instead of coming out on the interstate right there and going up into Mississippi right there, I'll go on up there to uh, Liberty, Mississippi and cut across that highway and come out right there north of that scale house. That's what I'll do the next time. And that would just blew my mind that he stopped me in the scale house just for that. It's uh, midnight now. I'm about to climb back there and get in that bed. I had to jam out to some music on the way up here. I couldn't, and I was fighting my, my tiredness. And, and it seems like it's gotten worse over the years, especially nighttime driving and stuff like that. I used to not wear glasses. And uh, I'm going to say I've been wearing glasses now for about five years now. And um, six years or something like that. It all started out with me going down the road at nighttime and just not being able to clearly see things. I went to the doctor and stuff like that and did eye tests, all that stuff. And the eye test come back and showed that I got astigmatism. Basically, instead of my eyeball being round, it's more shaped like an egg. So it makes my 
at nighttime, it makes everything blurry. So, of course, I had to start wearing glasses and stuff like that. And it just seems like over the years, it just keeps getting worse and worse and worse. I think I may need to go back to the doctor again and uh, see about doing another eye test. Because here lately, it's just been... Seems like at nighttime, the LED headlights of oncoming traffic, they just blind me. And then you got people that run around with the big light bars on their trucks and stuff. And that blinds the mess out of me. You got the cop lights and all that stuff, the blue strobes and all that stuff. That stuff just really messes with me at nighttime. And it makes me very, very, very super tired. Uh, used to not be that way. I used to be able to handle it at nighttime and stuff like that. And it just seems like here lately, it's, it's just getting more and more uh, difficult for me to run late at nighttime like this. But anyways, we're going to get us some sleep. Bella looks like she's already wanting to knock out back there. We're going to get us some sleep. We're going to get this thing unloaded in the morning. So we'll get back with y'all in the morning. When we get up and figure out what we're going to do around here, like I said, I've never been here, so I don't know how it's going to be over here, but we'll see y'all in the morning. This place right here was bound to be some kind of train depot or something back in the day. The tracks run all the way down through there and you can see there are the train cars down there. We got some train tracks right here, some old ones. And I don't know if y'all would tell right over there, that's kind of where they went around at. But uh, I think they turned into kind of some kind of flea market or something now. That's pretty neat. Nice old place like that. I'm going to say it used to be an old train depot or something or some kind of storage or something because of the tracks on both sides of the building here. I don't know. I'm not a train expert. I don't know nothing about all that, but I think it's pretty neat, uh, this old building like this right here. But, I mean, there's train cars up there. I'm pretty sure they probably uh, are still getting used on that end of the track, but... This end of the track right here? No, this end of the track ain't getting used right here. This is a nice little town right here. It says 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. on the unloading time, so it's uh it's 7.30 right now, and the first guy just got here. Now this oil company right here, uh, I'm gonna say used to be called White Oil Company, and Best Way Petroleum bought them out. Come, Bella. Come. Come. And you can tell all this stuff is old. It's a, I don't know if this is a more historic town or what this is, but I really wish I can go up in there because uh, it looks pretty cool back up in there just by looking at it from here. But yeah, I'll check that building right there out. That's, that's pretty cool. Old train depot building. We slept with the uh, truck turned off all night long with no APU, with the windows down about halfway and my vents open on the back of the sleeper. And let me tell you something, I had to wake up this morning and turn some vents down or close some vents off and roll some windows up to where there's about that much down because uh, it was pretty, uh, pretty, pretty chilly this morning, pretty chilly. My exhaust stack's at the top and the top of my hood has actually got the, the moisture on the tops and stuff like that to where it got chilly down here last night. And it is, it is pretty chilly out here. Oh, I spoke a little too soon. The guys are already here. They're gonna load that little bobtail right there. And then uh, they're gonna get me in. I'm gonna pull in right there where that little bobtail's at. It's a tight little place, y'all. Might not look too tight on the camera, but this is a pretty tight little place. I like to come from where I'm at right there and whip it around and pull up in there. And then when I come out, I'm at the back, back up this way right here to get out of here. So I told him, I said, oh, take y'all's time, man. Me and Bella, we're going to walk down this way now. So just get out here, do this little bit of exercise this morning. That was the Monroe County Courthouse. No, the time on top of it is not the right time. Uh, 
Somebody needs to jump up there and move their arms. <laughs> uh, it's nice. It's nice to be able to walk. Holy sh there's a deer. Look at him. Holy crap. Big old deer. Bella, <laughs> Bella jumped that sucker up, man. I don't know if y'all seen it in the camera coming from over here. Big old deer. Bella jumped that deer up and that deer ran across here. Almost run into them tank, them train cars right there. And then took off running down the track that way. Hey, it's my dog, ain't it? Look at it. She's like, hey. Got one of their trucks going out. I need to get me a sticker like that right there made to put on the back of my trailer. Uh, I met that guy before in uh, Corinth, Mississippi. And uh, I don't know if y'all ever noticed my little cross that I got hanging beside my door uh, on the inside. He gave me that little cross. That, that dude, well, I guess we're going to go out this way instead of turning around in the parking lot going back the same way. I guess we're going to go out that way. But uh, I need to get me a sticker like that made and put on the back of my trailer. That'd be pretty cool. Okay, so as I told y'all earlier in the video, we came back and we loaded a straight load of hydraulic fluid. We got some uh, 46 weight hydraulic fluid that we're unloading right now. That's in one, three, and four. And then we got some 68 weight hydraulic fluid right here. All the same hydraulic fluid, just different weights of it. You know, just like motor oils, you got 1030s, uh, 530s, 020s, 030s stuff like that 1540s same way with hydraulic fluid you got different weights of it you got 32 46 68 and uh i think that's usually about it right there i think that's the only three weights i'm not don't quote me on that but i'm just saying from what i've hauled over the years that's about the only weights of uh hydraulic fluid but it's all clear oil we're going to get samples after we get done unloading which, <laughs> that's just crazy how some places do it before and some do it after. Um, but we're going to get samples when we get done unloading. And then, yeah, that'll be it. Well, y'all, we got that load out there unloaded. Very nice people here. Very, very nice people. Uh, the little fellow that unloaded me, we sat there and talked and told him about my diet and stuff like that. He subscribed to the channel, and I really appreciate that. I never did catch his name, but that's just my fault. I don't, I don't ask people their names and stuff like that. I'll shake their hand, tell them I appreciate them, and have a good day. But I just, I don't remember names. I remember faces, and. Uh, so he was talking and he did say that that train, that old train depot right there, that's what it was. It was old train depot. Right now it's like a farmer's market and they have weddings and stuff like that there. They have uh, just different get gatherings and stuff like that. It's kind of like a town hall deal. He did say that the oil company that used to be white oil company used to own that thing. And then when Best Way bought them out, they donated it or something like that to the city or something like that. I can't remember what he was saying about that, but we're going to end this video on this note here because we're going to ride back toward uh, Port Allen, Louisiana. We are most likely going to pick us up a load of diesel this evening to flush the trailer back out. So what it kind of sounds like to me is, is that I'm not going to be working this weekend. Uh, so he said he might have a load of diesel going to... Uh, to a sugar cane, uh, not one of the mills, going to one of the farmers. So what I'm gonna do is, is uh, we got about 20 more minutes before we can actually get back on the clock. 
So I'm going to let Bella out, let her potty. And then once we get out of here, we're going to be pouring the coals to it, going back south, going back down to Port Allen to pick up that load of diesel if they get it. If they don't, they're probably going to send me to uh, Opelousas to pick up a load of diesel to go back to one of the lot of oil bulk plants. So, uh, like I said, this video right here, I've, I've actually had pretty fun making this one right here. I hope y'all did enjoy it. If y'all do, please, please, please give it a like. Subscribe to the channel. Share this video. Comment on this video. Every single bit of that stuff helps out with the algorithms and gets the videos out, gets the channels out, the channel out, gets more people subscribed. If you want to help me out, I still do have a few hats on my Etsy page. I'll link it below. But if you really, really want to help me out, share the channel, comment, like the videos, watch the videos. That is what helps me out. That is what grows the channel in some weird YouTube kind of way. All this algorithm stuff, that's how it all works. But I know I ain't been putting that in my videos, asking y'all to do all that and stuff like that. And I guess I need to uh, because Bible says, ask and you shall receive. So I'm asking, would y'all please help me out with that? I do hope y'all enjoyed this video right here. And... Um, just a simple unload of oil coming back from another load of oil. It's been a pretty good long week as of right now. And I'm hoping I can get this diesel load and stuff like that and get on back up toward the house this evening. But we're going to go ahead and get off this video right here. We're going to start up another one as soon as we leave here. And we're going to get on riding down to Port Allen. Do hope y'all enjoyed this video right here. And uh, I do hope y'all have a blessed one. Y'all be safe. God bless. Peace.